Again, we have a common equation, y equals mx plus b, and we want to solve that for x because we want to solve the equation for the given variable, which is x in this case. So we're in slope-intercept form. We recognize that. But again, we can just treat it just like any other equation. We want to solve for x by itself. So again, we have our two parts here. So I see y equals mx plus b. I want to get that x by itself. So to do, to counteract this plus sign, I'm going to subtract a b to both sides. And these are not like terms y and b, so I have y minus b equals mx, okay? Well, we have m times x, so the opposite multiplication is division, so I'm going to divide by it m to both sides. And now I am left with x equals, well, y minus b over m. Now you could combine these, uh, the m to both parts here, almost distribute it in a way, uh, but I like to keep it as simple like that. And then we're left with just y minus b over m equals x, but where what? Where m does not equal zero, because again, if m equals zero, right? If m equals zero in this case, then the equation does not exist. So it exists when it doesn't happen, okay? Uh, thanks for watching this video, and please subscribe to our YouTube channel.